Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha. Today I am so thrilled and excited to share with you a brand new palette from Revolution, but this one is special. This one is a collaboration between Revolution and Tammy, and I am so thrilled that I've, uh, well, I couldn't wait to receive this. And although it launched last week, it only was delivered today and I was counting down the days and tracking it. And well, I was, I'm just so thrilled. So this is the packaging. Um, the palette itself, obviously it's got Tammy's name there, Tammy X, um, Tammy with obviously a kiss there, just like the Soph um, collaboration, but it's actually called the Tropical Paradise palette, which I really, really love. I really like the idea that this palette has, Tammy's really incorporated her background, where she comes from, and the shade names I'm loving, because again, they've got really personal meaning behind them. I love it. I love this um, at the moment in Norfolk. It's not very warm, it's very cloudy. So this is giving me a little bit of sunshine today, and I'm loving it. I'm loving the design. On the back, it shares with you the shades that you're going to receive in here, along with, of course, the ingredients, as always. This palette retails for £10. You can pick it up at the moment from revolutionbeauty.com. I believe from what um, Tammy said on her YouTube uh, video that this will launch at Superdrug, but at the moment, and I've checked, um, if it has already launched, of course, I will link it down below. But um, when I did check a little while ago, it hadn't. Um, so yeah, at the moment, it is just Revolution Beauty. The palette itself is beautiful, although it's got my fingerprints on here because of course I've done one eye already. Um, it is rose gold, it is shiny, it's beautiful. Um, it just is very, very classy. I'm loving it. So of course, it's got Tammy and a kiss there, of course with the Revolution logo. And then on the back, again, it's got the ingredients and of course, Tammy there as well. So if you do dispose of this, which I'm definitely not going to, but if you do, then of course it's got the details there that you require, um, ingredients and things like that. I can't wait to share this with you. I have seen Tammy's uh, YouTube video testing this. I had to, I loved, um, also the idea that they, um, Revolution, it was more like an interview and it was asking her, you know, questions, you know, why she'd chosen certain things. I absolutely love that. I love that she also did a look as well. I just love the whole release of this palette. I think it has been done incredibly well. I am so excited for Tammy. I was lucky enough to meet her last year in October on Halloween, um, I met Tammy because I was kindly invited to go along to the Halloween party, the Revolution Halloween party. I was incredibly nervous, <laughs> incredibly. And as I was going in, Tammy was then coming out and she made me feel so welcome, so at ease. She, well, she didn't have any problems with having photographs taken with me and she just made my night. Um, in fact, actually, that experience made my year. So <laughs> it really did make that evening so, so special for me. And it was all down to Tammy. It really, really was. So I had to pick up Tammy's palette. I'm so thrilled for Tammy. And yeah, I am so, so thrilled for her. She really, really deserves it. Um, you really deserve it, Tammy, if you're watching this. Now what I'm going to do is um, share with you the shades. What I would also say is that it does come with one of these sheets. Now ordinarily I wouldn't, well I, I'm not a big fan of these, but there's a reason why I can get over it on this occasion. And it is <laughs> because the palette is so filled with shades. So when you open it up, You've got a mirror. I'm going to cover that now that you've seen that. And it is a full size mirror and it's a very good mirror as well. Then these are the beautiful shades that you receive in there. I've already put the swatches on my arms as well for you. They are beautiful. Now the reason I can get over this is because you can now see that the palette is crammed full 
of shades. You've got two top rows there, and then you've got this bottom row here. Now in Tammy's video, uh, she mentions that what she's done is, is added three base colors there, or transitional shades, whatever you would like to call them. And they're all for different skin tones. Now I applaud Tammy because, as she mentions in her YouTube video, there are only all the palettes or most of the palettes, obviously depending on which brand she purchases from, but most of the palettes that she purchases, she can only use certain shades because they're not designed to, um, to suit people with deeper skin tones. But when <laughs> Tammy said on her video that she's designed this for everybody, not just deeper skin tones, but of course, you know, for lighter skin tones as well, she wasn't wrong. I've tested this out, you know, to apply this eye, um, this eye look, you know, to help me out in my video. And yeah, she wasn't wrong. These are so pigmented, and I would go as far as to say they are one of the most pigmented palettes that I have ever used. And bearing in mind that I have tested out a lot of shadow, it was so pigmented that, yeah, <laughs> I tried on a number of shades and I had to blend them out. It's not uh, usual for me to do that. Uh, usually what I will do is I will use one or two brushes and buff it out. Um, but then I had to go in with a, another, you know, plain well, unused brush then to buff it out. So they uh, blend incredibly well. They're not eyeshadows that are pigmented and you can't blend them out because I've tested those kind of eyeshadows out as well. These blend out, they have amazing pigmentation, but they blend like a dream as well. So if you want an eyeshadow palette, if you're like me actually, that has got hooded eyes, and this is how I actually rate a palette. If I put a transitional shade on and I can see it there, then that means that that is a good palette for me. There were a lot of eyeshadow palettes that I've tested that I could never ever get the pigmentation here. They just blended into nothing. This doesn't do that. So whether you've got lighter skin and you you know, you know love pigmentation, or even if you don't, like I say, these blend out beautifully. Or if you are someone with a deeper skin tone and you want an eyeshadow to show up, try this palette you will not be disappointed and at such a reasonable price it is just amazing so now i'm just going to put the sheet on to the palette so that i know which one's which and then i will go through them and share with you all of the eyeshadows i'm just a bit worried about dropping it on the floor <laughs> let me just move my mirror over for a moment there we go I'm keeping the sheets on there. There are so many shadows, I just don't want to get confused. And I'm easily confused, especially when I'm this excited over an eyeshadow palette. Okay, so here are all of the swatches, um, bar the three at the bottom, because I didn't do those, but I'll do those in a moment. So we have got Pina Colada, we've got Queen Lou. So that one is a shimmer, Queen Lou, that's a shimmer. What I also love about this palette is that Tammy has really incorporated not just her heritage, where she um, originates from. Um, I think it was her, her granddad, her grandparent, um, and that is why she's um, chosen this design for the front um, of the palette. So she's incorporated her heritage. Not only that, she's incorporated some family members into the names and I'll obviously go through those. So we've got Queen Lou and her mum's name is Louise. So that is uh, dedicated to her mum. Then we've got this shade, this beautiful matte orange shade, which is called Tropical. So obviously that is a, um, a you know, um, to her heritage. Uh, <laughs> then we've got, I think it's, is it Coraline? Coraline? I hope I've said that correctly. We've got that. That's another matte shade. We've got then this beautiful golden shade called Exotic. Um, you've got um, K2 
Caribbean which is there so obviously this is some of these are a salute to her Caribbean heritage like I said so that's Caribbean which is one of the shades I've used today and it's one of my favorites so far but I think these are all going to be my favorites we've then got um, and this was named by her daughter, by Tammy's daughter, and it's called Perpy Perps. I absolutely love that. Then we've got Treasure, and you can see it is like Treasure, absolutely beautiful. Then we've got Adventure there, which is a matte brown, and then we've got Rich Soil there, which is a cool tone. So you've got a warm tone brown and a cool tone brown there, absolutely beautiful. Then we move on to the second row. So we've got a beautiful light uh, shade called Moonlight there. We've got another shimmer shade there called Enchanting. Another shimmer shade there called Burning Heat. We have got a matte shade called Majestic there. We have got a beautiful green shade called Paradise. We've got a beautiful shimmer shade there called Carnival which is another shade that I cannot wait um, to use. I've got sorry I've got some eyeshadows mixed in because I must have touched them but anyway just forget about that mark there that one's called Carnival another shade that I'm very very excited about called Golden Sands absolutely stunning uh, I love that then we've got a matte green called Rainforest a matte blue now this is an unusual blue because it's not um, a traditional blue it's a, like a teal blue called waterfall then we have midnight stroll which it wouldn't be a tammy palette without the black so that's a black matte shade called midnight stroll and then i've just got to swatch the last three the base shades um, i forgot about those so i'll just put them up here on my arm actually i'll just clean my hand i've got lots of eyeshadow on me at the moment and I've put I don't know even how I got it all the way up my arm um, like I say these are incredibly pigmented um, just amazing amazing colors I'm not even sure if you're going to be able to see this first one because it is a cream shade but I'll do my best I'm just going to double that one up Okay, so the last three shades, you've got Coconut Cream, which is here. Let me just try again. For some reason, um, the palette is dangling off the edge and I just do not want to drop it. There we go. So that's Coconut Dream. Then we've got the middle shade. So that's Coconut Dream. We've got Nutmeg and then we've got Isle of Spice. Again, it's dedicated to the Caribbean island um, that Tammy heralds from. It is called Isle of Spice. So there are all of the shades. There are a lot of shades, amazing, beautiful colors. And like I say, they are so pigmented, beautiful. So now what I want to do is create the look for you now. So I want to create the same look that I've created on this eye. And I'm very, very excited about this. So, which brush did I use? I am going to use, um, because I've got my set here, I've got my Primark eye set, um, but I needed a fluffy brush. So I've reverted back to this. If you um, obviously haven't got this brush, then you know your regular fluffy brush will do. This is another Primark brush, but I know that a lot of you are finding it hard to get hold of. I'm trying not to use it, but I don't have too many fluffy brushes. Um, and yeah, I've got to use this one today. So what I'm going to do is start off with this one. This is from a set from Primark at the moment that is £3.50. And I am going in with, first of all, um, the shade Nutmeg. So that was this shade here. Now, I did test out a number of shades and although they may not all show up here, it was just how I created this look. So although you may not see them, I'm still going to replicate the, um, the look and the shades that I used on this side. So on this brush, I've got a little bit of Nutmeg and I'm now going to just pop it into the crease and above 
and I'm going to use the brush. But I just found that this brush would just, for some reason, just would not blend on my eye um, today, especially with the base, because what I didn't do was actually set it. So that's why I swap, but I still want to use exactly the same brush. I just absolutely love this colour so, so much. It's a beautiful base. And in fact, I'm going to swap already. Um, that brush is just not fluffy enough for these shades. So I'm going in with the eye contour brush from Primark. That is so much better already. I don't know why Primark actually discontinued these brushes um, because these this brush is very good but it's just not as fluffy. So that is the base applied. Love that. Then I went in with um, the orange shade and also I'm using this and I forgot to mention this in my other video. It's like one of those colour switcher things that you can all you do is you just rub your brush on there and it cleans it. Um, I know that the colour switch was quite expensive. This is only, I believe, a £1.50 or £2 from Primark and it is amazing. I then went in with the shade Tropical, which is that beautiful orange shade there. So I'm just going to apply that. Now, <laughs> this is when I thought to myself, wow because I've only just tapped my brush in. So now I'm going to tap a little bit of that off. And I was starting to think to myself and remembering what um, Tammy had said, thinking, oh my goodness, she was so right. So I'm just going to pop that in there like that. Now, like I say, you may not see this at the end, but this is me testing out a few of the shades. Then I went in with the um, Coraline or Coraline shade. Got a little bit of that on there. And again, very pigmented. There's also hardly any kick up with this palette. There is a little bit, but there's hardly any. I mean, the pigmentation is amazing. I've just put orange on here and it's totally, you know, gone over that and covered it. So I went over that as well. I really wasn't sure what I was going to do. Now, even though that, like I say, they are incredibly pigmented, they blend out like an absolute dream. Then I went in with the shade Adventure, which is this warm brown shade here. So again, on the same brush, and I'm just going to tap off the excess. I went in with that as well, and I then took that up quite high. And a little bit more of that. Now I'm just going to go under the eye. First of all, I use the shade uh, Nutmeg. I can see that that is going to be one of my favourites, that nutmeg shade. And I went under the eye all the way along with that. It's one of those colours, um, it reminds me of a Makeup Geek shade. Was it called Khaki? Something like that. It's Or is it Tiki Hat? Anyway, one of those kind of shades, and I remember when Makeup Geek brought that shade out, it was um, so different because it's a brown, but it's also got green in it. And it is, although it looks like one of those shades and you think, wow, I'm not ever gonna make that work, it looks absolutely stunning on the skin. So I've just added a little bit of that underneath the eye.
beautiful I love it and then I went in with a little bit of adventure the reason is is because I'm doing this because I used a little bit of the black so there's that and then I went in with the black and Tammy is um, a lot of the time on her um, channel she's mentioning she loves a black shade that's how um, she creates the depth in the outer corner I don't typically use a great deal of black but I wanted to incorporate it in my tutorial as a little bit of a um, you know a nod to Tammy so and you only have to literally um, touch the brush you do not have to do much and what I did then was just deepen out that crease now even though these are incredibly pigmented like I said they blend like an absolute dream so you hardly you're never going to use that black all up and it just works beautifully This eye is definitely looking a lot better now I'm using this brush. For some reason, this just would not, um, it wouldn't work today. Um, it kept tugging at the um, the base and I'm using the eye elements. Um, so I'm, I don't know, I'm gonna have to practice a little bit more with that brush. Okay, so that's the base done. Um, in fact, I'm just going to put that on the corner like that. So that's the base. So these do blend out incredibly well. But I would say that this brush, for some reason, just wouldn't work for me today. You really need to use these eyeshadows with quite a fluffy brush. Because they are so pigmented, you will need to blend them out. Um, now I'm going to swap to this these brushes. So what I did was I then used the this brush out of the set. And in fact, I went in with the lid shade, which is the shade Carib uh, Caribbean. And that's that one there. Absolutely beautiful. It's like a rosy gold shimmer. Stunning. So I just put that all over the lid. It's just amazing. I knew this palette was going to be good um, just because everything Tammy does is amazing and I love it. But I'm just already in love with it. Now I'm going to go in with the shade Pina Colada, which is this shade here. Now you've got two shades, you've actually got this one which is yellow toned and this one which is more icy. I prefer a warmer tone, although I am getting into these icy tones. So I went in with Pina Colada and I blended the eyeshadow in with that Caribbean. I'm not quite up on the names yet. And then I and all around the inner corner. I didn't need to wet any of the eyeshadows. I mean, you can obviously for more intensity, but I didn't, I wanted to test these out and I wanted to see, you know, how intense they were on the eye. Now I've already missed out a step. I'm just going to clean the brush off again and go back into that Caribbean. And what I then did on the same brush very very thin you know pencil brush I actually went and put that shade on the very close to the eye eyelash line I wanted the look to be as shimmery as possible and I wanted the lower lash to mimic what was happening on the lid I'm also just going to add more shadow using a brush just so that you can see that these shadows, you, 
You can use them with a brush or a finger. It's only basically habit that I put on eyeshadow with a finger, um, but they work equally as well with a brush. And I'm sure that if you was, was to wet this, it would be even more pigmented. I just love that color so, so much. Okay, so that is my look complete. Now what I'm going to do, if I, yes, I have brought it in, I'm just going to line my eye with the Revolution Pro HD Smoky Waterproof Liner, um, which looks like this. And I've taken the lid off. So I'm just going to line my eye now. Love, love, love that. I've got to sharpen it for the first time. I've used it so much. It's amazing. Then, of course, I'm going in with mascara, which is my Primark PS Amplified Mascara. So I'm just going to apply that to the top lash. And that is my look complete. What I am just going to do is mention what I've got on my lips. I have got the um, Revolution Pro Supreme Matte Lip Pigment in Veil as the base. And then I added this, which is the Revolution. And it is one of their new liquid lipsticks in Bustier, which is a shimmery pink colour. Just to add a little bit more drama, as if we need more with these beautiful eyeshadows. So that is my eye look completed. I am absolutely loving it. I will do a close-up picture and add that to my Instagram on um, onto my Instagram for you. But I just love it. I think with this palette, there are so many looks that you can make with it. I think the colours are just amazing. I think the amount of shades that you're getting for £10 is amazing. The pigmentation is outstanding. I would love to hear from anyone else who has tried this palette. If you've, you've got it, what are you thinking to this? It is amazing. That's my opinion, but I want to hear what you think. I'd also like to uh, hear what you think about or I'd like you to comment about my eye look, what are you thinking about that? Yeah, anything that you've seen in this video, I'd love your feedback on. Um, the only thing that I would like to add is that I thought this morning, and I thought, because while I was doing my makeup, I had to do my base, obviously, and I did the one eye, and then I had to put a lip product on. And I thought, the only thing that's missing here is Tammy, doing a lip product. I would really love to see a collaboration of um, with Tammy, um, you know, about a collaboration with Tammy for lip products so that when I do the eyeshadow, I can also do a lip look as well featured from, you know, by Tammy. That is what I would love. And I thought that's the only thing that's missing. I would love that. So um, yeah. I would love for your your feedback. If you have just stumbled across my channel, of course, I would love it if you subscribe to watch further videos. There is definitely more to come from Revolution. <laughs> more collaborations are on their way um, that I want to share with you. Uh, until the, to, no, not until yesterday. You can see I'm so excited about this and I love the eye look. So until tomorrow, thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you. Bye.